Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name is Amanda and today I want to share with you the books I'm planning on reading in October. Okay, so September was a whirlwind of a month as far as reading goes for me. I participated in Bookathlon and Series September um, and it was just a lot. It was a lot of books. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast doing both. I was very successful doing both. So I'm, I'm just happy with the way that it all turned out. So anyway, in October, I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach. I have a couple of buddy reads that are planned. Um, I have a read along that I'm participating in that I will be doing. And then my plan of attack is to work on some of my annual goals that, you know, we're going into October, I should probably start working on some of them. Um, so that is the game plan. So let's just get into this. First off, read alongs. The first one that I'm participating in is The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. This is being hosted by Krista from Books and Jams. It will take place the first two weeks of October. Um, I will link her announcement video down below if you are interested in participating. But this is a Christian nonfiction book. Um, it's a classic. I have no idea what to expect out of it other than I know A.W. Tozer is very beloved. And so I'm excited to get into it. I had a blast reading Mere Christianity with her in May. And so we're going to be tackling this one in October. It's really short. We're just taking two weeks to do it. If you would like to participate, like I said, information will be linked down below. That's the first one. The other read along that I'm participating in is the Lunar Along, which is hosted by A Star Reads and Book Cara. And I will link once again their information down below. They have a Discord server going for this. Um, I have not been super involved in anything, but I have been reading the books and I have been reading some of the comments. I just haven't been commenting a lot. Um, but we are now in our third month, third book of this four book, four and a half book series. Um, there is a like fifth novella-ish book. I think it's actually long enough to be considered a book. Whatever. I'm going to stop talking. This month we're reading Cress. <laughs> um, these books are all sci-fi read-alongs, uh, read-alongs, sci-fi retellings of fairy tales. And so Cress is about Rapunzel, sci-fi, Rapunzel, third book in the series. Can't really say a whole lot about this specific book, but the book as a whole, ha or the series as a whole has to do with a, um, pandemic and there are people that live on the moon and they're kind of waging war tensions are rising between the lunars who live on the moon and the earthens who live on earth and so it kind of has to do with the pandemic that is going on and the moon lunar people and all the all the things i love this series I recently read another book by Marissa Meyer and it made me just realize the thing I love about her writing is the character development. And I think that that's something that the series does really well is it develops each of its characters really well. And so reading that, like I said, information will be linked down below. All right. And then I also have a couple of buddy reads planned. I will go planning on reading Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner with one of my subscribers. Um, and so this is historical fiction, dual timeline. I don't really know much else about it. It takes place, okay, so it sounds like this takes place dual timeline. Um, present day is like a girl who wants to, it says it is eager, what? No, they didn't like it. I it's, love it. It's a crocodile. Do you wanna show it on my camera? Whoa. Here, come over here. Come back, walk around, come over here. You can show show them your creation. Tell them what it does. It goes underwater, and it's a bird that can has a sandwich, and that can go underwater. Underwater sandwich. Yeah, and it's and a, a bird. Yep, yeah, and even it, it's kind of like a crocodile. It is like a crocodile, isn't it? Very good. But oh, thank you. Do you want to go keep building with your Legos? Nope. Nope? This right. was just a thing that I could build. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so this has to do um, present day Oxford, England. A young American scholar is eager to pursue her vision of a perfect life, and she interviews 
an elderly woman who is ready to give up secrets about the war that she has kept for decades and then it's also 1940s England and it has to do with a 15 year old girl who is evacuated from London with her much younger sister and is like wants to go back to the city but also understands her sister needs her there I don't know but should be good looking forward to that one um the other buddy read that I'm going to be doing is The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon I'm very nervous to read this because I have a feeling that it's going to scare the poop out of me um we'll see um, I'm planning on reading this with Cozy Reader Kelly. Um, we both have it, and I might need somebody to, to me through this, you know. Um, but I'm excited to read this. It's a thriller, horror. I, I, I honestly have no idea. All I know is Keisha from A Book Like You read it, loved it, got me interested in it. I'm going to be reading that. All right, and then on to some of my goals my annual goals that need attending to um the first of which is my goal to read through the entire artemis fowl series this year there are eight books in the series i had read one prior to this year i'm like i'm gonna finish out the series this year i've read one this year so now i've read two out of eight so i have six to go which means i need to read two a month for the last three months of the year so this month we're going to be reading the eternity code and the opal deception three and four. We'll see. I honestly, I will probably read this one, maybe this one, and then determine if I want to continue the series because after book two, I was like, nah. but I also know it's a beloved series. So I'm going to give it its fair shot. If I get halfway through and I'm not excited about it, I'm not going to force myself to do it just to check a box. Um, all right. The next goal that I had was my 2020 TBR, which was reading different cover buys that I had bought. I bought this like two, three years ago. Three, two? I don't remember. Um, this is Never Ever by Sarah Saidi. Sy um, it is a Peter Pan retelling. It's YA. It doesn't have the best Goodreads reviews, but I'm down for a Peter Pan retelling. This is on my annual TBR. I'm going to try to read it. We'll see. We'll see what I think. Um, my annual TBR has not had the best results as far as me loving the books so we'll see all right um my next goal that i wanted to make some um progress towards it was to read five children's classics um i've read two two let me check have i read one or two i thought i've read two i've read two so far out of five and so I would like to make some progress with that and so I'm going to pick up Oliver Twist. I really really want to read this book. Um, I have a number of children's classics that I could choose from on my shelves um, but I just really really want to read Oliver. I love the story of Oliver. It feels very autumnal to me um, and so my hope is that I read this and then I go watch the movie musical because you know I love I love the musical of Oliver. All right and then the last goal or whatever that I wanted to make progress towards is a series. Um, I actually made a ton of series pro progress in September with series September, but there was one book that I was holding out for October because it's definitely a spooky book and I thought it would fit. And that is King of Crows um, by Libba Bray. This is the fourth and final book of the Diviners series. I've listened to all three of the previous ones before. It's been a while. Um, but I do want to finish out the series because I really, really enjoyed the first three books. And so I want to finish out the series. Um, and so I'm planning on listening to that one in October as well. So those are the books that I am planning on reading in October. We'll see how I do. It's kind of crapshoot these days. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I will obviously also be mood reading and listening and all the things as well. And I would like to make some progress with some NetGalley books. So we'll see how I do. Um, but yeah, if you have read any of these books, as always, I would love to hear your opinions about them down below in the comment section. Um, have you, are you now interested in reading any of these? Let me know. Be sure to check out, um, The Pursuit of God read along as well as The Lunar Along. All the information for those will be linked down below. And yeah, that's going to do it for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.